Degenerative meniscal tears are a very different kettle of fish than acute meniscal tears. These usually occur in more elderly patients whose knees are beginning to become arthritic. The meniscus is affected by arthritis and it begins to degenerate. Think of an old rug that gets walked on all the time. Eventually the threads begin to show and it wears out. A degenerative meniscus is the same and it's prone to tearing quite easily. You don't even need a specific injury for this tear to occur. Symptoms of a degenerative meniscal tear include pain and swelling, but they can also cause clicking, catching or locking within your knee. We call these mechanical symptoms because something is mechanically catching within the knee joint, like a loose screw inside a clock. These are caused by the torn meniscus grinding and grating between the knee bones. Symptoms may start suddenly after quite an innocuous incident, like getting up from kneeling in the garden, or they can also develop slowly over time. Now arthritis can also cause similar symptoms to a meniscal tear. Dull, achy pain that you feel even when you are not moving is most likely due to arthritis. Pain and mechanical symptoms associated with movement are much more likely to be caused by your meniscal tear. If you think you may have a degenerative meniscal tear, then I would suggest seeing your physiotherapist, GP or sports doctor and having them examine your knee. It is likely they'll obtain an x-ray to assist with your diagnosis and management. We get the best images from x-rays taken with you standing up, putting weight through the joint. If your x-ray and examination are consistent with some arthritis and a meniscal tear, then I would recommend a trial of non-operative management this may involve taking some anti-inflammatory medication if your doctor thinks it is safe for you to take this. You would also benefit from seeing a physiotherapist and there are a number of specific programs to help arthritic joints, such as the GLAD program. Some patients are carrying a few extra kilos of weight and if this is the case, then losing some weight may also assist your pain. Some degenerative meniscal tears will not improve over time and in this situation, an MRI scan may be helpful and surgery can be considered. Unlike an acute meniscal tear, where the tear occurs in a previously healthy meniscus, a degenerative meniscal tear can never heal, even with surgical repair. Think of somebody trying to repair a hole in a sock. If the sock is in otherwise good condition, the threads will hold and you can repair that tear and wear the sock again. But imagine if that sock was quite old and becoming to wear out. When you try and sew it back together, the threads will pull loose and you just won't be able to repair the hole in the sock. The exact same thing happens with a degenerate meniscal tear. The meniscus itself is so worn out that it can't be repaired back together and also it doesn't have the blood supply to heal itself. A keyhole operation or knee arthroscopy can remove the torn fragments of meniscus from inside the knee joint. This is performed through two small incisions about 5mm in size at the front of your knee joint. We can also remove loose pieces of articular cartilage that may have peeled off the bone due to arthritis and are also causing mechanical symptoms within the joint. This is usually done as a day surgery procedure and you can walk out of hospital the same day without crutches. The average patient needs one week off work and you can usually drive a car 24 hours after surgery. However, it is very important that patients understand that an arthroscopy cannot cure knee arthritis. But it can help with reducing the discomfort associated with mechanical symptoms of clicking, catching and locking. An analogy I often use with my patients is this. Imagine you are walking in an old, worn out pair of hiking boots. The tread has worn off the sole and your feet are sore. You also have a few pebbles inside the boots that are irritating. We can put a camera and some tools into your boots and remove those loose pebbles. Yes, this will make your walk more comfortable and take away some of the irritation as you move. But you are still walking around in the same pair of old boots. You may not feel perfect and over time the boots will continue to wear out. The only way of permanently fixing the problem is to change to a new pair of boots. A knee arthroscopy for a meniscal tear associated with arthritis is exactly the same principle. The problem is, replacing a pair of boots is a lot simpler than replacing your knee. Now every patient is different and one of the great challenges is deciding whether or not 
an arthroscopy is appropriate for them. Your options will essentially be physiotherapy, weight loss and anti-inflammatories, a knee arthroscopy or a knee replacement. It's for this reason that many patients do choose to have a knee arthroscopy. Arthroscopy is a small, minimally invasive procedure with few risks and a quick recovery, especially when compared to a knee replacement. If you're interested in learning more about non-operative management of arthritis or knee replacement, then I also have specific videos about these topics on my website. If you have very severe bone-on-bone -bone arthritis within your knee, then I would strongly recommend avoiding an arthroscopy altogether. Conclusive evidence shows that arthroscopy has poor results in these knees. If your symptoms are mainly mechanical, you don't have a badly arthritic knee, and non-operative management isn't helping, then you may be a very reasonable candidate for an arthroscopy. And in this situation, an arthroscopy may help you significantly. At the end of the day, if the bulk of your symptoms are coming from arthritis and not a meniscal tear, then an arthroscopy won't help you. In this situation, if non-operative management fails, you may need to consider having a knee replacement. The Australian National Health and Medical Research Council describes total knee replacement as the most cost-effective and the most clinically effective for end-stage osteoarthritis in appropriate patients. Over 60,000 knee replacement surgeries are performed in Australia every year, and the vast majority of these patients will have a successful outcome and a greatly improved quality of life. So the role of your orthopaedic surgeon is to really help you decide what is best for your knee. Is it non-operative management, a knee arthroscopy, or a total knee replacement. If you would like some specific advice about your meniscal injury, then I'd be more than happy to see you for a consultation. Remember, every patient is different, so it's important that we look at your scans, examine your knee, and also talk about your symptoms and health history. If you haven't had appropriate scans, I can arrange for those to occur before I see you.